It was a mixed weekend for the Vegas Golden Knights. They beat the Winnipeg Jets and then get shut out by the Utah Hockey Club. Chris Golick of Locked On VGK is here to talk about the weekend and what lies ahead for Vegas. All that and more on today's Locked On NHL podcast. Your Locked On NHL, your daily podcast on the National Hockey League. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Gil Martin here. Welcome, everybody, to the Monday edition of the Locked On NHL Podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I want to thank everyone who makes Locked On NHL your first listen every day. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts so you get new episodes as soon as they drop. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code LOCKEDONNHL for $20 off your first purchase. It is my pleasure to welcome back to the show the uh, co host of Locked On VGK, Chris Golick. And uh, Chris, uh, a mixed weekend for Vegas. They beat the Winnipeg Jets in, in a closely contested game and then. Was it a letdown, in your opinion, losing 6 nothing to Utah? I don't know. I mean, starting with uh, with Winnipeg, I put it out there that the Jets were on a long road trip. They had the holiday off in Vegas, and I joked maybe it was going to be a guilty game for the Jets. And then they announced right before Hellbuck is going to miss the game. Allegedly, they wanted to keep him out for the divisional games. I don't know if uh, Hellbuck was partying or if the team – I don't know what was going on, but – in any event, um, the Golden Knights definitely, for lack of a better term, emptied the clip uh, against the Jets. They put everything they had into that game, and it's almost like they didn't even know they had a game the next night. The Coyotes game was a good reminder. One of the pair – Coyotes. I, I always call them the Coyotes. All right, the everybody. Utah guys, hockey everybody. Club, I got the Chuck Knobloch yips with, uh, with, the, <laughs> with, the, with that. Um, so – it's a reminder of the parity in, in, in the NHL, number one. All the teams are good, even if standings don't dictate that. And it's also a reminder that you better be at least on your B or C game because if you're not, you're going to get crushed by a team like the Utah Hockey Club, not taking anything away from them either when I say that. Yeah, I mean, l- let's get back to the Winnipeg game because obviously there's uh, a lot of good things to be said about that. What, what did – vgk do so well that they were able to come up with this victory they just kept coming i think um didn't back down a lot of cliches i guess um it wasn't even their best game like a couple of the jets goals were i mean somehow the jets managed a three on two off of a vgk offensive zone face off and then petrangelo just did a terrible uh, cover with hannafin and next thing you know it's a quick jets goal they lost another defensive zone face off where the jets took all three seconds to put it in the back of the net. So what I like about the game is the fact that the Golden Knights were far from at their best, and they played, I believe, the Jets at the time and maybe still today might have the best, uh, the most points in the NHL, or they're at least up there right now. So the Golden Knights got it done in regulation without their best performance. Brett Howden is getting you know, gets two big goals in the game. You get scoring coming from you know depth scoring right now without Mark Stone in the lineup and that top line which has still been churning really well with um, Eichel and Barbash. I think Barbash had one or two goals in that game as well. So you got depth scoring, top lines doing their thing, and um, Aiden Hill got the job done that game. Talk to me a little bit about defense because offensively defense? this team. What defense? Well, that's my question. I mean, offensively Vegas is hitting on all cylinders, even without Mark Stone, but, you know, 23rd in the league in goals allowed. Is it defense? Is it goaltending? What's going on on the back end here? I mean, starting with the goaltenders, both goalies are below 900. 894 for Aiden Hill. Sam Snoff is an 892 save percentage right now. Obviously, that took a bit of a hit yesterday with uh, letting a little bit of a sit, letting a six ball yesterday, so that certainly is going to be good for anyone's stats. Um, defensively we're gonna start with noah hannafin so hockey stat cards really good uh twitter follow uh they put out the report card after every single game either on their twitter feed x feed whatever or on their website and it's basically a grade of how the players did and it's a sliding bar the more to the left they are the worse they are the farther to the right the better they were 
Noah Hannafin's making a living on the bottom of the hockey stat cards. He's either like the very, very bottom or at the very, very top. But lately, he's been at the very, very bottom. Hannafin gets a big contract, big trade for the Golden Knights. He's a minus seven on the season. Just for comparison, Braden McNabb, uh, VGK day one, uh, day one misfit, is a plus 16. Um, some of the other defensemen right now, as far as plus minus, Nick Haig is a minus three. Shea Theodore, minus two. So point being is Noah Hannafin's kind of out there on an island as far as his plus minus. So you said 23rd in goals against. Coach Bruce Cassidy put out a measurable before the season started. He wanted the Golden Knights to be the best defense in the Pacific Division. And as sad as it sounds, they actually might be. <laughs> that, that's how, The Pacific is the gift that keeps on giving all season long, thankfully. But if the Golden Knights want to do anything besides, you know, claw for the division, we'll see how the middle third of the season treats VGK. But if they want to do anything better than maybe be a one-and-done type of team, defense better figure it out. So what do you think is missing? How do they figure it out? I think the combinations, number one, um, Braden McNabb plus 16. He stays at home, does his job. Noah Hannafin likes to be a mobile defenseman, rush the puck. And Coach Cassie talked about Hannafin a little bit in the loss and mentioned that now Hannafin's not on the top power play unit. Those are touches he doesn't get. So maybe it's a mindset thing where he's trying to cheat up in the play to get those touches. Um forgetting about the defensive responsibilities at times. But I think at least the short term, right now it's Petrangelo and Hannafin as the top pairing. On paper, that's pretty good. On paper, that's a really good pairing. You want those two out there in the most sensitive moments of the game, but the reality is they don't – it's not even just the stats, it's the eye test. They're out of position with each other, coughing up pucks at the blue line. So in the short term, it, maybe it's just keep tinkering the lines and find the right – Find the right pairing. Braden McNabb stays at home, does his job. He's plus 16. Put McNabb and uh, Hannafin out there together. Let Hannafin go wherever the heck he wants. Let Braden McNabb uh, stay on the defensive blue line and see what happens. You guys have a, a couple of players who are in the race for the Cy Young. You have uh, right now Brett Howden, 10 goals, one assist. And then Pavel Durofiev, 12 goals, five assists. All kidding aside with the Cy Young stuff, talk to me about the contributions of those two players. So, so you meant to say Cy Young. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, listen, uh, Dora Fiev is someone I've been beating the drum about for three years in this town, whether it's my personal business of uh, buying and trading and opening boxes of sports cards or, uh, you know, just talking about the possibility of uh, Dora Fiev breaking out. And it's happening right now. It's happening. And Brett Howden, I think, just hit his career high in goals. As crazy as that sounds, Brett Howden looks like, uh, as far as points on the Vegas Golden Knights, Howden is around eighth or ninth, but 10 goals, just one assist, but 10 goals. He's kind of the Swiss Army knife. Maybe took uh, Mike Amadio's role, who went to Ottawa in the offseason, who plays on all the lines, could play center, could play wing, could play in the top six, the bottom six he can kill. Maybe not so much on the power play. Um, but Howden just signed a sweetheart of a deal for the VGK. Um, Five-year extension, 2.5 per. 2.5 million. That's insanely low. And he just signed it a couple, like uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken. So for someone who is uh, having a career season to sign a, an extension for a half decade, I'm, I'm glad he wants to be in Vegas because uh, he left some money on the table to do so. It's a tight division race. What are the keys for Vegas to play more consistently and hold on to first place? I mean, listen, it's a vet team. There's a lot of championship pedigree behind the bench and obviously on the ice. So Petrangelo is always a good person to listen to in the post game or practice. He'll always give you a pretty fair perspective of what's happening. And, you know, Petrangelo, I think, was the interview after the 6 nothing blowout to the Utah, not Arizona, to the Utah Hockey Club, and just, hey, get back to work tomorrow. I remember when I've interviewed him, him in the past as well, when the team has had some rough rough patches, pretty quick, hey, we go to work tomorrow. What are we going to do? Are we going to sit here and dwell? No, we're going to go to work and try and get it fixed. So just kind of let it take its – take let things take their, take their course, I guess. I don't know if that's the best answer. Um, coming up on the middle third of the season right now, that's always been a concern – for the Vegas Golden Knights since Bruce Cassidy has taken over behind the bench. 
So hopefully if Mark Stone returns, insert LTIR joke here, but hopefully Mark Stone returns, CERN, that's obviously going to help. Goaltending, Aiden Hill, Team Canada, possibly uh, chalk to make Team Canada for the um, for the Four Nations face-off. We'll see. We'll find out in a couple of days. But my sources say he's a, he's a lock along with Jordan Bennington right now. Leave it at that. Um, so goaltending, Aiden Hill needs to be the number one goaltender. Samsonov, they kind of let, let him hang out to dry yesterday, left him in for all six goals because Vegas did play the night before. Um, hopefully Samsonov can shake that off because he's going to be a very important part if the Golden Knights wish to make a run at the division and obviously a long playoff run. And then last but not least, we talked about already the defense. They got to figure out what they're doing because what they're doing right now isn't working. And they might be the best defensive unit in the Pacific division, which means absolutely nothing because their defense is playing terrible right now. Call it what it is. All right. Well, Chris, why don't you tell our viewers and our listeners where they could find the podcast and where they could find you and your co-host on social media? Yep. Uh, follow Locked On VGK Podcast on YouTube or anywhere you get your pod, anywhere you get your podcast. Uh, I'm Chris Golick at TD Chris G on Twitter. That's TD like touchdown. TD Chris G on Twitter. All right, Chris. Thanks so much. Thank you. Today's episode is brought to you by your friends at Game Time. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for your favorite live events even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. One of my other favorite features on the Game Time app is the view from your seat. You go on the app and you can get a panoramic view from your seat before you purchase the tickets so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Just download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code LOCKEDONNHL for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N-N-H-L for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game Time. 